So the the ones with power that went to South America, I know a bunch of them went to Argentina, uh -huh. uh, but they think uh, they went to uh, Honduras and a few other places. Mm -hmm. Where where do they think they wound up? So what you had in South America, both Chile and Argentina, back to back had fascist regime, regimes. You had uh, Perón, who was part of the Nazi party starting all the way back into the mid thirties. He's the president of Argentina. So the red cross, um, they were facilitated. There was about three different rat lines that guys were able to successfully get out of Europe into South America. Um, and th these are, there's no question that we're talking thousands, if not tens of thousands of high ranking Nazis made it there. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. And I'm not talking like little soldiers, I'm talking high-ranking Nazis, officers, guys like Joseph Mengele and Adolf Eichmann. I mean, these are the most disgusting, despicable humans to exist at the time. If Hitler, if Hitler is dead, Joseph Mengele is the guy that would take syringes full of blue ink and inject them. Oh, and, oh you have blue eyes, Joe, or you have no. brown eyes. Yeah. Let, me, let me see if I can make them blue. Oh, wow. And then take twins and start torturing them to see if one would feel the pain. That's Joseph Mengele. I mean, that's the guy that then in South America was helping... Um, high-ranking Argentinians have abortions, and he set up... Um, have you seen the movie Colonia? No. About Colonia Dignidad? Which is... Uh, if you're listening right now, I almost warn you not to Google it, because it, it is... It, it was a torture camp that was started by Joseph Schaefer, a Nazi, and Joseph Mengele, the, the doctor of death that escaped trial in Nuremberg and made it um, at the behest of Perón into Argentina, he set up the hospital at Colonia Dignidad, which was another safe house, safe haven for more Nazis in South America. Um, Golda Meir and David and Ben Gurion, the presidents of Israel, um, they, they took the gloves off and they were just sending assassins to try to find these people and kill them. Um, but what you got in South America were isolated German only communities. 